internet friends not yet here high time we took a look at the two junkions released in the studio series eight to six so far releases like these are the reason i wanted to start collecting this line in the first place love the junkions they're a little bit more obscure than the main guys and i never got them as a kid in the uk they were particularly rare i can never remember getting retgar and like a lot of the studio series 86 these guys look really cool the articulation on them the detail the amount of paint apps on retgar in particular i love the like the salmon pink on him and the detail on the face we'll take a closer look in a minute but the first thing i wanted to have a look at before we do anything else is scale these are voyager class not the biggest so one below leader class one above the deluxe class but I did not expect these Junkions to be this big and I need to do some research about how big they are in the cartoon. But at this stage, I'm kind of inclined weirdly to trust Hasbro. They've got it right with a lot of stuff and I've generally agreed with their take on scale so far. After the Dinobots, I think they might be some of the biggest. Look at the deluxe guys. I mean, RC and crew look like minibots next to them, really. The cartoon is famously very imprecise with this stuff and just it's always a bit of a judgment call in terms of how to scale that for a 3d object they do look like different figures the paint app is a huge part of that but you can see the similarities in the feet they're identical but this is the kind of retool that i really like where the differences outweigh the similarities really so let's get to it and take a closer look at him i mean the face on red guy is particularly good i think one of the best face, faces in the studio series He's got his axe with him, which he uses to great effect in the movie. The wheels, you can choose where these are gonna go on any of the spokes. Somewhere to store things so you don't get things lost. I do have to say the spokes are bent. There are ways to remedy this. You know, the hot water trick bending slightly bendier plastic back into straight shape it can be done i haven't done it it doesn't bother me too much but in terms of articulation shoulders back and forth back and forth with the arms swivel on the hands even though he's voyager he doesn't have a gripping motion i'd li really like that on more figures it just adds a little bit of a flourish like with the hot rod figure i know that's so he can hold the matrix but it just looks like you can do him like he's pointing like he's I don't know gesturing just little details like that that they sometimes miss it's okay they grip the weapon really well push it down and then it's not going anywhere waist swivel I would say worth pointing out the waist swivel on both of these guys is very loose for me exactly the same thing on junk heap very it's everything else is pretty stiff but the waist is very loose you can do a bend there at the knees and also the ankle pivot yeah really good i'm thinking a lot about the other voyager that i've just bought scourge and how limited he he is in terms of what you could do with him retgar looks great it's almost it's almost difficult to get him um, looking dopey you can even bend backwards like that so you can do like a charging thing as if he's running straight at the camera loads of stuff with this guy i mean what kind of a pose is that it almost like looks like a still from the cartoon as if it, it that shouldn't be possible to balance right it does balance let's see if we can balance him on one leg look at that we can get this guy on one leg holy smokes our record buddy if you could just look straight at the camera that's great i love it buddy okay oh shoot it's such a strange color but that's what makes it pop and the flames on the back nice bit of gold like the dinobots i love it when they bring in that gold yellow on the wheels the wheels spin when they're in place like that very very nice and of course his uh, gun nipples do twizzle very important and, and i mean junk heap is pretty much the same that's why i look again that that it's just around the waist it's just around the waist where they're floppy 
Uh, it's, that's such a shame. Maybe there's a way to tighten these things up. Almost like blast panels on the side here that turn around and make his bike mode look really good. But they do mean that he is a little bit more chunky on the arms. So I tend to put the wheels down here out of the way so you can kind of see these. These pop a little bit better. Good range of motion in the head. It might actually be better than Retgar. Uh, you can twizzle his own horns as well. You can't really move Retgar's head back very much because it bumps the windshield at the back. I think the colors on this guy is just a little bit more drab. I mean, there's as much brown on him as on Retgar, but for some reason I like the detail and it's 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 the pinkish color that makes him more interesting to me. This is, this. I think this is slightly pearlescent. Very, very subtle. But yeah, it's just nice to have another junkie on because we definitely want to do that scene in the movie where one junkie on rides another junkie on. It's not hard to knock them down. It's getting them to stay down that's the trick. It was such a surprise when it happened. Can we do it with these guys? You can't quite get him on. It's a little bit undersized, but it, you know, the articulation allows you to do it somewhat. And then the question is, how will things look the other way around? So Junk Heap riding Retgar. Yeah, again, as expected, he's just a little bit too big for the bike, but it works. It's okay. After Hot Rod, who I think is probably my favorite Studio Series 86 so far, so far, I like the um, Junkions the best. I just think the range of that articulation that you can get on them, the size of the models and the paint app, particularly on Retgar, I think it's fantastic really really happy with these guys if you're planning to pick them up do let me know in the comments please do like and sub if you like the video that's the whole thing on youtube if people are not liking and subbing then we're not getting anywhere so please do do that for me and i'll see you next time